first to the most closely fought election here in France's modern history. Heading to the second round, dark horse centrist Emmanuel Macron and the far right Marine Le Pen. But you might be wondering why we're talking about this on Middle East matters. Well, that's because the region's media outlets have been reacting in their droves, and our own Julia Seeger is going to bring you some of the pieces that stood out to her. Julia, let's start with Lebanon's Daily Lorient Le Jour. It talks us through the anti establishment vote. Absolutely. In its editorial note, it says that this election is really the proof that the French people are ready to go forward. They're ready to redraw the old political landscape. Because if you add up the turnout of Emmanuel Macron, Marine Le Pen, and Jean-Luc Mélenchon, so a newcomer and two uh, anti-system contenders, it shows that 65% of French people decided to vote against the two main political parties left and right. And this is the first time in the history of France's Fifth Republic that the two main political parties are ousted in that way in the first leg of the election. But for Lorient Le Jour, it's actually good news, echoing Emmanuel Macron's slogan. They're saying that France is en marche, meaning that France is moving forward. Now, the personal life of one of the winning candidates, Emmanuel Macron, seems to be the hot topic in the region's press. Absolutely. And this article by the Arabic edition of the Huffington Post uh, describes in more details how Emmanuel Macron met his wife, Bridget. Back in the day, he was 18 years old. He was in high school, and she was his teacher. And the article says that he uh, even ended up in the classroom of one of her daughters. Now, the question that's being asked right now is whether this age difference is shocking to conservative Muslims. And the article tells us well, not so much, because the Prophet Muhammad himself and his first spouse had pretty much the same age difference. Uh, and it's really, like you said, a recurring theme. It's also mentioned in this article posted by the very conservative Iranian website, Asre Iran. Uh, here, they've even listed uh, five things you need to know about Bridget Macron. And let me just tell you, this type of gossip is very uh, unusual in a very conservative Iranian media outlet. Now, lastly, Julia, as we can see here, the Israeli media seems to have very much focused on the Franco-Israeli participation in these elections. That's right. Despite his disappointing show at home, 60% of French Israelis in Israel voted uh, for right-wing candidate François Fillon. It's an important number, but it's still less than what um, Nicolas Sarkozy did in 2008 during the French presidential election. And meanwhile, well, Emmanuel Macron clearly failed to convince French Israelis, uh, coming in a distant second with 31% of the vote, while Marine Le Pen only got 3.7%. Uh, many French Israelis say today that their goal is really to block the far-right candidate, uh, because mainly because her party has been accused of being anti-Semitic, but also because she's pledged to get rid of dual citizenship, so many of them are going to have to choose between one or the other. Now, there's another article that caught my eye, is in Heretz. It's entitled, The Tragic Reason an Eight-Year-Old Jewish Girl Hopes Le Pen Wins. Now, the article ends on this powerful quote by this, this young lady. Uh, it's during a Jewish gathering to watch the election results here in Paris. The girl says that she doesn't like Marine Le Pen, but that she still wants her to win. And when she's asked why, she says, Le Pen wants to ban kippet from all public places. And since bad people attack Jews who wear kippot, maybe banning them is the way to stop the violence. Julia Seeger, thank you very much for that mini press review of the region's coverage of thank the so. French elections.